Hey there, roguelike fans. Um, as many of you who have been watching know, we were playing Hellband until yesterday, when a very weird turn of events ended our game abruptly. In case you were watching that and don't know what happened, I watched it back frame by frame, at least the part where I died, and figured it out. So we had a, uh, a servant following us, a demonic servant that was our ally following us. And if we bumped into him, he stepped aside and let us pass. That always happened. However, during the final combat, we were blinded. And when I tried to retreat through him, rather than stepping through him, I guess as a function of being blind, we attacked him. And he became angry, and he's what killed us. Um, didn't know that could happen, but apparently if you're blind, you cannot step through an ally in Hellband. Or maybe other Angband variants, I don't know. So there you go. We learn something new every day. So what are we looking at today, and why are we looking at it? Um... I was having fun with Hellband. Like, a lot of fun. And I really wanted to continue sort of in that vein. I was hesitant to play another Angband variant right away, but there are so many to do. And I'm just going to play one, because I kind of feel like it. So, there you go. My next intention to play was Kathangband. Um, here's the scoop on how we ended up with at Yeekband. And how we ended up at Hellband, etc. Uh, so, the same gentleman made... Kathang Band, as made Hell Band, as made Yeek Band. All the same gentleman named Dean Anderson was the, the person who first made these games. Um, I was a little concerned when we played Hell Band. I, I wanted to play it, that's why we played it, but I have had a policy generally on this channel to play the roguelikes uh, that are, you know, variants of another roguelike in sequence. Um, Kathang Band is a direct descendant of Zang Band, and Hell Band is actually a descendant of Kathang Band. Therefore, I probably shouldn't have played it in that sequence. But, in my quest to learn more about what's going on right now, with Kathang Band, I learned a number of things. First of all, uh, Kathang Band was created by Dean Anderson. He gave it up a long time ago, like 15, 20 years ago, he gave it up to somebody else to take care of. That somebody else made a single output and then abandoned the game for like 15 years. In that interim... Dean went on and made Hellband. He also made Yeek Band. Then he retook control of Kathang Band and has been working on it as recently as last month. Can you freaking believe that? Last month he's, he put out the newest version. So that is still in active development. What that means technically is that Hellband or Kathang Band as it exists today is more recent than Hellband and Yeek Band. And he said in Kathang Band, and he said in the, in the rule book there, that he adopted some of the stuff he created for Hellband and Yeek Band and put it in there. So these technically come before the current version of Kathang Band, which means by playing Yeek Band, we are actually getting back on track, not going further away. So, all of that said, what is Yeek Band? To be honest, I don't expect it to be a drastically different version um, of the game than, than standard old-school Ang Band. Yeek Band was very hard to find. I had never heard of it until about 25 minutes ago. I don't know, I've never heard anybody else talking about it. Archive RL does not have a copy of it. Um, but because he mentioned it in his rulebook, I did a deep dive, found it via the Wayback Machine. I will include a link to where you can get it. This extremely, extremely rare Ang Band variant. In Yeek Band, you play the role of an adventurer descending into the depths to find fame and fortune, and to eventually, should you become powerful enough, reach the 100th level of the dungeon and kill Morgoth. Sound familiar? It's Angband, guys. But it's Angband with some sort of spin that Dean Anderson has put on it. It is a variant. We're going to check it out. Yeek Band has been specially modified to make it simpler for inexperienced and less tech-savvy players who might be overwhelmed by the amount of configuration and poorly documented options that Angband tends to have. Of course, while simpler means that the game is less fiddly to set up and play, it doesn't mean that the game is smaller or that the game is any easier to complete. What this means is that while Yeek Band contains the full gameplay of Angband, in fact it contains more since it has an extra race and extra classes with their own mechanics and gameplay styles, much of the configuration has been predefined. The dozens of options that have been preset for you for an optimum, in the opinion of me of course, me being Dean Anderson, not me being Jeff, playing experience, and it automatically has separate save game files for different Windows logins. All right, a lot, a lot, a lot. It's back to basics approach. Has only ASCII. You can't do the other stuff. Let's just dive in, man. Um, as I said, I anticipate this will be very much an old school you know, Ang Band type of game. Let me just make sure we're not uh, missing anything in our recording. We're not. I'll check back periodically. Um, 
So if you've already seen Hangman and you're not interested in more Hangman, don't worry about it. But if you are interested in more Hangman, specifically in this weird fucked up variant, check it out. Let's play a male. I'm sorry, I'm going to play a male. This is easier for me to relate to. Now, he said there's one more, one new race. I see the Yeek. Has the Yeek not been integrated in modern versions of Angband? I thought it had, but maybe back now it hadn't. But we're going to play a Yeek, because this is Yeek Band. I imagine it's not going to be great. Let's take a look at what their stats are. Jesus. Strength minus 3, Intelligence plus 1, Wisdom plus 0, Dexterity plus 1, Constitution minus 2, Charisma minus 4, Hit Die 8. They only need 90% as much experience to level up. In for Vision for 40 feet. Let's play it. He also said there's one new class... I don't know what that class is. I know it's not Warrior. I know it's not Rogue. I know it's not Ranger. I know it's not Priest. I know it's not Paladin. I know it's not Mage. It means it's either Mentalist or Chan Channeler. And given Channeler is on top, I guess we're going to go with that. Let's see what this does. A Yeek Channeler. Whatever that means. Male Yeek Challenger. Title Mixer. Um, we are, social class is Pariah. <laughs> you are the smallest of a litter of seven pouchlings. Your father was a Yeek King. You have long brown fur, pointed ears, and glowing red eyes. Pretty cool. I don't even know if our hell spun had glowing red eyes in the last one. Um, here we can see what we've got uh, in terms of our stats. Is this a is this a point thing or is it a reroll? So it's a pure reroll if we want to. Should we reroll until we get really high? What does best mean? Is best the best we could theoretically hope for if we rerolled? We we have pretty damn good stats here, actually, guys. Should we just take it and run? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna take this guy, because I don't want to risk re-rolling and getting a worse guy. Seven hit points, two spell points, man. I don't know what we're gonna do here, but let's see how this goes. Enter to accept. Enter a name. We've seen names like Bold, Bolgar, and that kind of thing for Yeeks, haven't we? So let's be, um... Bradnam. Bradnam the Yeek. Alright, so let's press any key to continue. Well, here we are in a very, very standard Angband town. Um, like I said, not expecting a lot of difference, aside from our class and race, from old school Angband, not this 4.2 stuff. Uh, I'll be honest, I think I prefer the older school Angbands to the modern school Angbands, but whatevs. Let's see what we have to carry. Three rations of food, two red speckled potions of cure-like wounds, a scroll titled Aspiratorium of Word of Recall, an aluminum wand of magic missile, that's kind of cool to start with. Two wooden torches. We don't even have a simple weapon. Our strength is three. Oh! When it showed us our best, I guess that meant this is the actual... the actual outcome of what you're going to get. We have strength three. What the frick? Our last guy has strength, strength 20. Let's... Magic. What? What is this guy? I can't cast magic spells. What do you mean? It's Blood Ring Yeti. We don't have to worry about him. Farmer Maggot, though, can probably kill us. Do you think there's a bookstore? Like, where, where do we go to get shit? Do we have any gold? We have 88 gold, guys. Where do we go to get... Um, I'm guessing we can't cast any magic because we don't have a magic spell book. Let's try and go in the five store. The five and dime. Well, that's not what we want, is it? Um... Well, let's do this. Let's do, um... See what these stores are. This is Black Market. Maybe that would work for us. This will be the temple, right? Four. Six is the magic store. That's what we want. I don't know if there's a point in getting a freaking uh, dagger with three strength. Probably good to have as a backup, right? Um, what do we... I imagine this is a spin-off of... I would have imagined this is a spin-off of uh, Zangban, but now that you mentioned he, he made it simpler for people to, uh, to get into, it's probably a spin-off of, directly of Angband. So let's assume we need that this book here. Purchase A. Oh, wow. Pardon me. You don't have to press P. Oh, you don't press P. You just press the letter. There, he's streamlined it. I guess? No? All right. Never mind. What am I talking about? Fuck. Go back in there. Can I not go back in here? I gotta step off. Farmer Maggot tells you to get off his land. He mumbles about something about mushrooms. I'm not on your land, you son of a bitch. Looks for his dugs. Wants his mushrooms back. Purchase. When I press P, it immediately says buy how many. Oh, is it because... Oh. Is it because A is highlighted? Am I trying to buy that? 
Let's try one. All right, that's what it is. So you don't press the letter. You, you first highlight what you want and press P, it looks like. Yeah, let's take that, yes. Okay. Um, let's also, just out of curiosity, like, is this how, just if we, if we wanted to do this, we can't afford it, this anyway, so let's just try and purchase it and have them say you can't. Yeah, okay. So that's how you do it in this game. You don't press purchase and the letter. You highlight what you want and press P. It's kind of interesting. Look for your dog. Seems sad about something. It's probably his dogs are gone. I would be sad too. Let's press G for gain. You don't you don't study from books. I don't. How about let's press question mark. Getting started. Welcome to Eek Band. Blah blah blah. Turn based. Blah blah blah. Character map around your basic gameplay. Top of the line. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. All right. We don't want that. Um, casting spells. Well, it's not a very helpful help file, is it? Spells.txt, line 0 to 20. But you didn't actually tell me what that says. <laughs> this son of a bitch. Um, so I don't think we want this book, apparently. We press M for magic, we can't cast spells. Maybe, we're, maybe a channeler can't? Like, what do we do with our spell points? What, are, what the hell are we doing? Let's try some um, in-game commands. Thank you for forcing me to go down here. Go up, go down, jump jump into a trap. That's interesting. Um, enter a store. How are you going to step on it? R, arrest for a while. There you go. So you can press the underscore to re-enter a store. I'm surprised you can't just stay in your position. Rest for a while is fine. Tunnel, search, search mode, all the same usual crap. B, D. Will I have a character to study a spell book or prayer book in order to learn a new spell? If you are a priest or paladin, you study blah, blah, blah. If you are a mage, ranger, or rogue, you study spell books and learn a spell of your choice automatically or from the second book. Mentalists do not need to study since they automatically learn new powers as soon as they become available. And warriors and channels cannot study as they cannot use magic in this manner. All right. So how do we use it? What's what's for us? What do we do? What the fuck's a channeler? <laughs> I don't know what a channeler is, guys. Do you? Use an extra normal power. X. Your character must know the power. And only mentalists can use it. So we're not going to do that. Maybe we should have played a mentalist, God damn it. Check knowledge. So tell us anything in here about a channeler? We just wasted our money, damn it. I don't see anything about it. And I don't want to waste your time right now, so let's assume we're not going to learn about it. Let's try the underscore to go back in here, and let's sell him. Sell which item? Uh, the thing we just bought from you. Thanks for taking my money. Did you kill my fang? No. I don't want to buy any mushrooms either. I guess we're going to the frickin'... Despite the fact that we have, like... What are our spell points for? What do we use spell points for if we can't cast spells? I'm concerned about the... About the route we've gone, guys. I'm excited to play a Yeek. I'm not excited to play a Channeler now that I don't know what it does. Let's... I don't know, man. What are we going to do? Let's purchase J. I don't have enough. I'm going to try and do. Purchase. Oh, you press the letter first. By how many? One. All right, let's wield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wield the small metal shield. Farmer Maggot. I'm going to deck you. On that bright side for you, I'm not going to zap you with a spell. Maybe we're really good at staves and wands and shit. Maybe that's our, th that's our deal. I don't know. He doesn't even have, like, a dagger. We can get a whip. That's what we can afford is a whip. Something tells me this game is not going to go well. Let's wield a stupid-ass whip. And let's go down in the dungeon. <laughs> I missed the Battle Scar Veteran. I'm going to die in a matter of seconds. We're already at zero. Somehow. 
Let's rest here. Apparently you're allowed to go to two zero, but not below zero. Jesus, guys. Um, I'm not sure we should have played this character just because I don't know what it does. I thought uh, I assumed it would be some sort of spellcaster. But there's no... um. Give me half a second. I'm going to check right here. I'm going to check one little thing. I know I know you're waiting. I know you're sitting there patiently being like, Sinisak, what are you doing? He has a readme. Readme isn't anything I need to read. There's nothing in there. Config. Edit. Um, artifact spell. Let's read this. This file is used to initialize a spell uh, thing for an Ingband game. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is just the various spells that exist. How about P class? Does it tell me anything in here about my class? This is to modify if you wanted. Here's here's a channeler. Here's the different level titles. Here's what it starts with. But no, it doesn't tell me the rest of what I need to know. All right, guys, we're just gonna dive in and keep experimenting, and we'll, you know, if we're as lucky as we've been in the past, we'll figure it out as we go. Otherwise, we'll die. Um, let's try aiming our magic wand at him. You failed to use it properly. Oops, he's gone. Did he run away? Where'd he go? Oh, did I automatically hit him? What, what happened there? That used our spell points, by the way. Did you notice that? The small kobold dies. You channel mana to power the effect. Oh! Alright, maybe we just figured it out. So it had seven charges but we can use our spell points directly to activate wands, etc. That's interesting. Alright, so we can we get at least two shots out of this without using its uh, power. Let's aim D, asterisk. Did it work? I don't see anything. I don't want to go near it. Let's go here. All right, I know you... Oh, Jesus, it almost killed us. Let's stand here. Let's rest. No, let's not rest yet. Let's aim. D asterisk T. All right, we killed it. Now let's rest. So we get back both health and spell points. Okay. Well, at least I'm figuring this out. So we're, we're dealing with a guy who's really going to want to use wand, stabs, and rods. That's interesting, at least. I don't know if we can stand up to any of these things. Maybe the white, if we're lucky. Maybe let's leave it alone for now. It's not going to take us much to level up, is it? We only need four experience. Might be able to get that from the snake alone. Let's try aiming at him. D asterisk T. It screams in pain. Let's get it again. D. Let's get it automatically targets the last thing we hit. So there you go. Um, we got two experience for that. Let's go down here and rest. Get our spell points back. Dare we try him? Let's get some distance on him first. D. Asterisk. T. Failed to use it properly. Let's rest. Uh oh. Aim. D. Oh, I didn't mean to hit him. So the automatic, um. Let's, let's use it anyway. I guess we'll. I'm not trying to hit him automatically, but welcome to level 2. So it's using one, it's using charges directly, but we have to use it right now. All right, we killed him. Let's grab this and let's go rest, and we get a lot more charges in our wand now. That's kind of neat. It's interesting. I've never seen a nurse. I, I I don't recall playing a character of this nature in Angband before. It's not to say you can't. It's not to say you didn't. Uh, maybe it exists in standard Angband, but I I don't recall ever having played a channeler before. So this is interesting. I don't know if I love it. Let's get these mushrooms. To make Farmer Maggot happy. Alright, um, can we see him from here? No, from here we can. E. I assume if we're completely out of charges we can't use it, but maybe we can, I don't know. We may not want any, um, it, like eventually we may not want any, like, armor or anything, I don't know, because... We're obviously going to need to carry a lot of wands and stabs and shit, but we'll see. For now, I feel more comfortable at least having the small metal shield and the whip as a backup option, you know? Yeek band. 
standard reptile, rock lizard, yeah. Aim. Um, if we don't kill it soon, we, we didn't hurt it. Let's get the fuck out of here. We left it a little bit behind, thank God. Can we lose it entirely? It's a little slower than we are. Uh-oh. Um, are we going to die? I think we're going to die. This may be a very short fucking game, guys. Um, we do have a dagger we can switch to, but a little late for that now, isn't it? Let's look and see what we can tell about this guy. Because we're like, why did our spell not work on him? Doesn't say anything about it. Why it wouldn't work. We could read... <sighs> Fuck. That's 3D. Oh, that fucking phase doored us. That's great. Our power is insufficient to power the effect. Does that mean... Like, would it have been theoretically possible for us to use that scroll without using the scroll if we had enough power? That's interesting. Like, can, we, can we use any spell we have access to for free if we have the spells points to cast it? That would be fucking weird and awesome. Let's find another one of those scrolls because, Jesus, we need this shit. What is that? White centipede? It's sleeping. Let's, let's end that for it. Time to wake up. Killed it. Let's rest right here. Want to always have our maximum spell points, guys. We didn't get any hit points on leveling up, did we? Not a one. Not one fucking hit point did we get when we leveled up. <sighs> Alright. What's that? Wooden torch, let's get it. Yeah, I don't think you could find a much more obscure roguelike uh, variant, a much more obscure Angband variant than Yeek Band. If I'm wrong, if you've if you've long been familiar with it, if it's common knowledge, tell me. I, I've never heard of it. I find that fascinating. A misty potion. It's like Grandma used to make. Um. How are we getting out of here? I guess up here. Nope. <coughs> Pardon me, I guess up here. <coughs> Let me just, I didn't note the time, guys, and I've made this window big enough that I'm uh, 23 minutes, so we have 37 minutes left. We want to go to 11.42 according to that clock, which is really 10.42. Because who bothers to reset their clocks for daylight savings time, am I right? When a simple calculation will save you a few button presses. <coughs> oh! Let's get away from this thing before it kills us. Ooh. Okay, we're at zero again. Okay, let's pass our turn here until we're not confused anymore. Is this passing our turn? Do we even know? How do we pass our turn? Period, maybe? No. Fuck. I don't know if it's passing our turn or not. It might be. I'm pressing 5, guys, in case you're wondering what I'm talking about. Maybe you can't pass your turn? I don't know. Let's aim our aluminum wand at it, see if that works. Because if we get next to it again, we're dead. Oh. <laughs> Let's quaff. C. So at least we can sustain a... Oh, we're not confused anymore. Alright, thank God. That could have been... We are surviving a lot of close calls here. Maybe the Yeek has a special power. Let's see what we know about it. Does it say anything about what his powers are? Does it have a special power where it always goes to zero hit points instead of dying and then it gets killed the next time or something? I don't know. Seems like an uncanny thing that has happened several times now. As I said, it seems to me that Yeeks may be a playable race in the current versions of Angband. If so, I guarantee you it came from this um, variant.
right, we only need six more experience to level up. I want to see if we get a hit points the next time, for the love of God. Furry mushrooms. Mushrooms! I don't think we usually find mushrooms this shallowly, do we? Feels like we're finding a lot of them in the early levels. Oh, fruit bat. Now let's go for the rat first, so it doesn't multiply. Oh, we beamed it or something. All right. So far, so good. Oh, I'm advancing far too fast on whatever the hell this is. They usually come in groups, and I don't want to face a bunch of them right now, so let's go over here and rest. Just because we don't have infinite mana, right? We can't take them all on with our spell. Didn't oh he did kill it, another one took its place. Likewise. Welcome to level three. We at least got one hit point there, guys. That's something <laughs> Oh Christ almighty, eh? I don't know that this game is gonna prove very survivable for us overall. But whatever, let's see what the hell happens. We die early, we die early. Oops. We need 24 for the next level, guys. Get out of here. What are you doing? A. J. Asterisk. Uh, apparently I can't really see it from here. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Screw you. A. J. Asterisk. T. Alright, Soldier Ant dies. A J asterisk T. A J asterisk T. Interesting the gray mold is written in blue here instead of in gray as it standardly is. Some new potions and such. That's cool. Doesn't say anything about being hungry yet, I guess. Let's rest. Shift M works here, unlike in Hellband. Yeah, I'm really glad I looked up um, about Kathang Band, not only to find this bizarre, largely unknown roguelike, as far as I can tell, but also because I, I had no idea he was still working on it. I was going to fire up the version I had. Matter of fact, I did fire up the version I had before, just to make sure it worked, before you know turning it off and looking at the manual and realizing all the other things he talked about in there. Um, but I would have had no clue that he was still working on it. I don't know, my, my version must be at least two years old or so. I guess not last month, it was in October, which is, la was as of yesterday, I could have said last month, accurately. Oh, well, that's new. Let's wear that. A cloak. Look how armored we are, guys. Armor class 7. Don't get no better than that. More food. I'll take it. We're slow, a minus 1. Let's get upstairs soon. We'll finish exploring this level. And we'll go back to the surface and, um, you know, sell off some of our stuff. Get a pick, I guess. Alright, man. Um, that seems to be the level. Let's just go right up here. Back to the surface. And we have a lot of stuff to sell, starting with... Well, I don't know, let's just go in whatever this is first. The bouncer bars your way. Come back when you're richer. 
Fuck you. Gannat the Greedy. Um, let's sell him. Do I press the letter? Does it work that way still? E? Yeah, it still works that way, but purchasing works differently. It's just odd. I don't know if streamlined means, you know, better. I was pushing a speed, damn it. Heroism. E. One. Slowness, damn it. Should have sold them on mall. F. One. Blessing. S. G. Deep descent. We don't want that. Why is he laughing loudly? You think I? You think I wanted to keep that? You drunk, sir. Um, how much gold we got now? 180. That's not terrible. Let's wield a dagger. At least we have a better weapon, you know. Come back here in a minute. Let's go. We want a, sh a shovel or something. We want just a shovel. At least be lighter, right? Let's get the shovel. Purchase N. No. N. Purchase. Weird. Do we have like um a diggable thing? No, eh? We do not. So let's do the usual. Let's, let's inscribe the dagger with at wield one. And let's inscribe the shovel with at wield two. Let's wield two. Yeah, it works. Just making sure. You're having trouble with such a heavy weapon. Yeah, whoops. Dagger's going to be about all we can handle. You have no trouble dealing this weapon. What do we got here? What was it a cat? This scrawny cat's gonna kill me. If I'm not careful. I don't want to kill a cat in front of Farmer Maggot in case he jumps to conclusions about his dog. You know more about the cloak you're wearing. All right, this thing is literally gonna kill me. We have to. We have to do it. G. Direction northwest. All right, killed the scrawny cat. I'm sorry. Sorry, Kiri. Sorry, Lenius. Did you kill my fang? The way you killed that cat. Um, what do you know about the cloak? There's nothing. It's just a standard cloak. That is what I suspected it was. That's what I suspected it. All right, we have. Um, we could we could get you know some sort of armor. I don't think that'd be the worst thing in the world to do with our time and money. Just to make sure we stay in the game here. Um, how about? We don't want to carry so much that we get, you know, weighed down. We can carry so little with our strength. Like, it's just fucking insane, is it not? But, you know, um... Set of gauntlets. Purchase. Wow, fuck off. One. Purchase. One. As well as... Fuck. I don't know if I should be doing this, but I'm gonna five purchase. I don't know if it's the weight. I'm literally worried about weight of simple armor and shit. V purchase. All right, let's wield all this stuff. Wield a metal cap. We're at slow minus three. This is not gonna hold. Let's wield a set of gauntlets. Wield. I mean, yes, we'll have a better armor class for attacked, but we'll be attacked so much more frequently now because we won't be able to zap them as readily with our wand. I don't know if we can afford this kind of armor. Like, this is insane. We can get rid of the whip. That'll help us a bit. Could just get rid of the... Oh, we got all the mushrooms to get rid of us. Let's see what happens. If worse comes worse, I guess we'll ditch the shovel, maybe, too? God, leave me alone, guys. I have never played a character with three strength. Have you? Sell the blue mushrooms. One of them. Mushroom of debility. For four gold. Yippee, you're happy about that? Do I throw that at something? What, can we inspect? Let's try the old... Get out of here, guys. Let me alone. Shift I. Examine. Yeah, from, from Hellband. This seems to work. Let's examine mushrooms of debility. 
When eaten, it restores some mana, but also drains either your strength or constitution. I don't want that. Fuck you. I'm going to sell this thing. Sell. If you'll still buy them, B. All of them. They're worth a lot of money. Let's sell. Furry mushrooms. All of them. No, not all of them. I think I'll retire. What does that mean? What, why is this great? If you don't leave me alone, FM. Grants temporary resistance to fire and cold. Cures 200 hit points. Jesus and his kin. Leave me alone. I don't care what you want. Leave me alone. We're still at slow negative three. I didn't think that would help much. Let's go sell the whip. See if that helps at all. If we have to, we'll just sell the shovel. I know we just bought it, but... I don't know, man. Sell. The whip. For 23? Did I even spend that much to buy it? I guess we did. Alright, we got some money for that. We're slow negative 2 now. Is that good enough? Let's make the completely irresponsible and incorrect assumption that that's good enough for now. And let's go over... Oh, Jesus. I'm trying to kill you, village idiot. Or squint-eyed rogue. Stop humiliating me. Stop mooning me. We're one health. Gee, fuck, we're gonna die in the goddamn town. Let's eat a furry mushroom of emergency. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. One of my wooden torches was stolen. Puff of smoke, good. He's gone. Let's try and get to the staircase without getting killed. Let's go down. And let's rest right here. Can we rest until we... We're still hallucinating. Can we just get rid of this? I don't know how to... I don't know how to pass my turn. Did he streamline that out of the... If I press 5, you can see the, these things are not shifting the way they do when I press other keys. So 5 does not re waste your turn. I don't know how to w waste your turn. D. Pressing the 5 key in the center of the notepad will make your character stand still for a turn. No, it doesn't. I wonder if I use the 5 pad on my... Yeah, I can use the 5 pad on my uh, keyboard. But the 5... How about if I number lock it? Ah, okay, just put a number lock on. It works fine. Alright, we're no longer hallucinating. I need 18 experience. It might be kind of boring, guys. We're staying on this level for now. I think you'll appreciate why. Given our complete uselessness as a character. Oh, this fucking thing touched me. Hey, maybe we can go down one level. I don't know. Maybe we should. If we find some stairs, I'll consider it then. It's a moot point for the moment. A search. There we go. Oops! You failed to harm it with my... I tried to t attack it with my dagger. Didn't even hurt it. Of course, my wand can kill it. <clears throat> I'm confused. What got me that it confused me? Oh, a trap. Alright. Also curious to see if we can get away with using um, like a scroll and not having it disappear. I don't know if that's the case or not. Whoa, fuck. Try and disarm it. No, we did it. A G asterisk T. Four more experience, guys. 
and maybe we'll get another hit point if we're really lucky. Let's grab that. He seemed to be quite happy when we, when we sold him that, so it must be valuable. A asterisk T. No. A I asterisk. Nope. Ah, uh, come on. A I East. I do find this character interesting, the channeler. I don't. It remains to be seen, you know, how how fun it is ultimately. Especially this three strength thing is like, obviously more than a little concerning. Well, let's wield two. Wield one. The color scheme is also just like different than I'm used to. It's not not a problem at all. I actually kind of like that it's different because it makes it feel just very slightly different. But I do find it interesting that it's different. We are using the dagger again, yep. Aim I asterisk T. Got him. Aim I asterisk. Oh, I don't need to. There we go. We need three more experience, guys. We're definitely going to stay on this level until we get that. Because we're almost there. Even if the Yeek exists, and or the Channeler, and or the Mentalist, I'm not sure which of the, one of those is supposed to be the new one, exists in current Aang Band. It, as, I, as I mentioned earlier, it was probably introduced via this um, variant. What happened to me? Why am I pink? I picked the lock. I'm welcome to level 4. I guess we leveled up. Oh, we have 15 hit points now. We finally, finally got some decent hit points. And by decent, I mean like first level hit points. <laughs> Still haven't found the stairs, have we? Um, so I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to even as we as we approach the end of this video, trying to calibrate in my head like what what have we seen in this version of the game? To differentiate it, you know, in any substantial, meaningful way. To Angband. I guess we'll go over that as we're finishing off the level or the um, the episode. Let's eat. We are hungry. Ration of food solved that. I guess we didn't have to carry that many rations of food either. I saw another reason why we're slow. Let's search both these areas. Either one of them could be a useful spot. Nothing. There. Thought so. Whoa. Okay. Oh, we killed something with our dagger. Look at us go. A I asterisk T. I'm actually fighting with my dagger and holding my own for the moment. Not so much for that. A, I, asterisk T, A I. I don't know if we can hold here, guys. Okay, I don't know if we have enough ability to hold them off while they're replicating. A giant white mouse. We're almost dead. We could easily solve part of that with this. Let's get out of here if we can. But these guys are faster than us. A, I, asterisk, T. If I can get back to this door and close it. Not that one. That one's broken. That's not cool, man. Is this a broken door? That's an open door. Can we get to it? All right, we close that. Whew. Almost killed by mice, guys. It shows you the uh, the level of combat prowess we have. Ugh. I did no. I thought I thought I managed to kill it in combat, but it ran.
Let's get over trying to kill it in melee. I don't know why I wanted to. I just felt like it would make me feel a little more confident about my situation, but I don't have to rely on that, so why would I? Sure. So he doesn't replicate. All right, rest. All right, push the speed, that'll be useful. We complete the outer cast drop. Let's wield K. Drop L. Oh, fuck me. We're in the same boat we would have been in before, guys. We're not going to be able to handle this. Oh, maybe we can with the beaming. Or not. Let's close that. If worse comes to worse, guys, we can always go back up and come back down and find a new dungeon to go down. You know, like I, uh, if, if, the, if the stairs are beyond where all these mice are, I'm not going to be able to get through. I don't think. It's kind of weird that at character level 4, we're still in grave danger on dungeon level, fuck you, dungeon level 1. I think that's our best bet, guys. I think we return to the surface. We know there's, uh, up to the northeast, there's a way off this level. Shit, that's the door we closed against them, isn't it? We can go a different route. Potentially. <clears throat> No, we can't. Well, I guess we can if we tunnel. I don't seem to be able to get through a granite wall. Maybe you can't with a shovel. Maybe that's what that. Maybe that's the difference between a shovel and a pick. I thought you could with the shovel, but it doesn't seem to be getting me there, so let's assume we can't. Rather than waste all of our time. We could, however, maybe. Uh-oh. That's what we're waiting for. We can't wait to even switch back to our thing. Like, this is where we gotta go, right? This is the way off the map. We can always word of recall. We may have to. How fucking pathetic is that, guys? We're gonna read a word of recall right now. To get off this dungeon level in a way that might let us live. That's just sad, man. Alright, we lived. Let's check the timing right now. Um, we've been recording for just shy of an hour. Let's go sell our stuff. Let's get that, that stuff out of the way. And then we'll... Um, 
probably call it quits there before we go back in. Jesus, scruffy little dog's gonna kill me. I don't know, guys. I don't know about any of this. I don't know about our ability to uh, to get through this with this character. It's an interesting challenge. I'll sell him... Let's find out what the sus lecus is. Detect invisible. All right. Let's sell him all of those. Sell him the blessing. Sell him the deep descent. See how much it's actually worth. Ah, oh, 39. Not a big deal. Sell him trap detection. Keep the rest of these. Let's pick up some scrolls of phase door. Four of them. Um, is there anything else we're going to want? I don't know if we have anything else to sell or to, you know, let's drop H for God's sakes. We could go try and get. Well, word of recall. Do you have one? These are not as expensive as they were in Hellband. Let's go to four at purchase. One. That's it. That's all we can do, really. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're going to head on down. I know I usually say stay on this level, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go down here. Ooh, okay. Um, so I think we're going to call it right here, but let's, let's, let's just discuss for a moment what it is we've discovered with um, Yeek Band, aside from a, for a different title screen. What are we noticing different? I mean, I would say almost certainly the introduction of the Yeek race. Possibly the introduction of the Channeler. We know for sure there was one, in the, one new class that was introduced via this variant, and both the Yeek and the new class may or may not be in current versions of Angband, which would render this kind of moot in that regard. Um, we know he's attempted to streamline the game in various ways to make it simpler for newcomers, but I'm not really detecting what that is. There is the change in shop when you go to sell something and you or buy something and you highlight the thing you want to buy first and then you press purchase. But that's just a reverse order of what you used to do, which is purchase and press a letter. Now you press a letter and press purchase. How does that benefit us? Yes, you can scroll the uh, the highlight up and down, which is kind of neat, but you can't do that when you sell as far as I can tell. Maybe you can. But selling, you still press S and then the thing you want to sell. So I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Um... So far, I can't think of any... Oh, a slight color palette shift in the dungeon. Some of the colors are different. That's literally all I can determine so far. If you're seeing something different, or if I, if I mentioned something I've forgotten, let me know. Let me know down in the comments what you're thinking of Yikaban so far. I'm not overly impressed as of yet, but um, you know, time will tell if that changes. Um, at the very least, I am excited to be playing such an unheard of band variant and I hope you're excited to be watching it and also at the very least if nothing else we're playing a character type we would never otherwise play with a strength of three and a constitution of five it's kind of neat right kind of that's all I gotta say I will be back tomorrow I think with more geek band um, and more of whatever else we're playing at that time y'all have a good day I guess that'd be ten nights of killing and mayhem at FJB yeah see ya Let's try uh, Control S. Control X. Return. Bradnam the Yeek Channeler. Alright. See ya.